Okay, so I have a bunch of shit on the truck that I sold. So I'm gonna start the teardown right now, I guess. I don't really have all the parts to put back on it, but uh, I figured now would be a good time to just go ahead and start tearing the truck down for the main part of the build we got going on here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna film. I just kind of wanted to uh, document this point as the start of the uh, build, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, I might pick up the camera here and there, maybe not, but yeah, this is where we're starting, and uh, yeah. Clearly, I went farther than I had planned to go. Everything was just coming apart easily, so I figured, fuck it. Let's just get as far as I feel like going tonight. So that's the stock rear end. With the uh, Rough Country extended struts and the block under a factory leaf. And here's the 8.75. Lonely, just waiting for the uh, ECGS locker and gears to get here until I put it back together. But uh, yeah, <laughs> actually it didn't take that long. Uh, I think it took me like two and a half hours to get to this point. So I got all my old suspension off that I'm selling because it only had like 500 miles on it, so I'll be selling that. So I'll sell the stuff I just showed you in the rear, and then these are the front coilovers and control arms that came with the kit. <clears throat> oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this in my previous video when I talked about switching suspension. Um, I bought Fox uh, extended struts for the rear uh, as well. Because um, I said, I think I said I was gonna run the run these rears until they blow, but I just decided, fuck it. It was like 300 something dollars to get some Fox. Is it the 2.0s? I can't remember. It's the monotube. It's not the reservoir, the external reservoir. It's just, it looks just like this, except it's Fox. So now hopefully I won't have to listen to people bitch about me running rough country. <laughs> That's literally the only reason I, I'm swapping the Dobinson, uh, OME and Fox is so I don't have to listen to people talk shit about the rough country. Um, it's just annoying. <laughs> but uh, why don't we do a little comparison while we have the suspension apart. So if you remember, this is the Tundra setup I'm going with. So. A little bit of a difference there, huh? <laughs> like twice the thickness almost looks like. It's fucking crazy. And then here's the outer. The inner's really where it counts, at least from what I've heard. That's quite the difference. So yeah, Let me go back over here. So yeah, it took me a little bit to get the rear out. Um, this is this is how I had the idea of taking it out. So I'm glad it worked out this way. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to drop it like that, but it ended up working out. I just uh, took all the brackets off for the brake lines, and I believe those are just ABS sensors. I'm not sure what they are, honestly. Um, and then unscrewed the 
brake lines from the drums. And then I had to undo the emergency brake cable from either side. That wasn't hard, it was just odd because I had never worked with a drum brake setup before, so it took me a little bit to figure it out. Um, but on this axle, I think I'm just gonna do new drums, just a whole new braking setup just because it's kind of old and crusty and I might as well do, I think it's like 250 bucks for an OEM replacement, full replacement with all the springs and shoes and all that shit. Uh, so yeah. I'm pretty stoked to get all this out. <laughs> uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I had some energy, so I figured mine as well. Obviously the truck's not in drivable condition anymore. <laughs> not that it was really to begin with, but now I can't even back it out of the garage, which is fine. Um, but yeah, excited to start cutting. I wish my parts would get here, man. Everything's taken so long. Although, toyosteering.com got me this rack within a week, so that was pretty sick. Um, but yeah. Oh, I also ordered bumpers. I was gonna hold off until I got my uh, core refund back for the axle, but I figured, fuck it. It's probably gonna take so long for them to get here that I might as well just order it now. So I got the Outgear Solutions, uh, was it the pre-lander it's like the tube style bumper uh no loop because i don't like the loop uh hoop look or the stinger look on these trucks so it's just the flat across tubed with a winch plate and then i'll also get some brackets for my dial dynamics ss3s and put those in there and then for the rear i got their high clearance tube bumper super simple so that'll be gone um, so yeah, this is gonna, there's gonna be a lot to do, but I'm super excited. Everything's been going pretty smoothly so far. I imagine when I have to start moving stuff around in the engine bay in order to cut stuff and tub, that's where the pain is gonna start, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with the battery. Maybe I'll run a smaller odyssey battery or something or maybe i can turn it uh i guess horizontally this way or, or vertically i guess if you're looking head on i'm not sure and here's my fuse box i'll have to move that shit too so yeah this side's gonna be a bitch um but that's for another video i'm not gonna Extend this one past where we're at right now. Looks like we're at the eight minute mark. It's probably going to be a 10 minute video. So yeah, this is where I'm at. Sorry, I know I keep saying that in each video that that video is going to be the last video. But uh, I guess we can just say that the build has officially started now. Um, so I can I can keep making content as I'm pulling it apart now. Um, still have another parts haul to do, like I said. Not sure when I'm going to do that. Um, I'll probably take the front apart, uh, tomorrow, I don't know, at some point, get the diff out, all that shit, uh, for my gears and all that that's coming, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up here, just wanted to show you guys, I was pretty stoked to pull that out like that, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're going, oh, and don't worry about my brake line, I was just lazy, you're not supposed to do that, but I'm replacing it with the steel braided lines anyway, so I didn't really care about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Things are gonna start picking up quickly. Wow, I just saved myself 150 bucks.